So Marvel fans, Mjolnir. That's right, the hammer, Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. I don't know about you, but it's probably, no, it is my favorite Marvel weapon by far. And of course, as we know, it is really a Norse mythology. It comes from the Norse myths of Thor. And then they based Marvel around Thor, of course. But here are some great fun facts on the hammer that everyone has problems pronouncing. Mjolnir. I think I've got it. Mjolnir. All right. Odin, the father, of course, Thor's dad. And Thor's dad, Odin, created Mjolnir. And he put a spell on it. Like, I put a spell on you. An enchantment of worthiness. We're all aware that Mjolnir, Mjolnir can only be lifted by those who are deemed worthy. The enchantment was placed on the hammer by Odin, the All-Father himself. So Thor isn't the only one who can use it, though, because if you're worthy, characters like Captain America, Beta Ray Bill, are worthy enough to use this awesome hammer of power. Okay, the material. What is Mjolnir made out of? What is that hammer made out of? It's what? A magical metal. Uru. Forged by the dwarven blacksmiths. They created the hammer, and they're said to be the best in the cosmos. Or in the nine realms, which I guess for Asgard and, and you know, Asgardians and Thor's folk are the best. So, now supposedly, Uru, along with the hammer itself of course, being forged from this unbreakable material, unbreakable metal. Uh, yeah, sure, that's what we're told. Yet, a rampaging Hela says, nah, I've got this. And yeah, I can break it. And she does. Shape-shifting abilities? Uh, the hammer is a shapeshifter? Sort of like more for Mystique or Odo? Uh, Deep Space Nine there. Yeah, pretty much. At least it can definitely appear differently, take on different forms. And certain versions of the comics, certainly. The, the hammer has the ability to transform and look nothing like when Thor uses it to kick butt. For example, when Thor transformed into his human guise, Dr. Donald Blake, Mjolnir would appear as a walking stick, a cane, something completely unassuming. But then, boom, right back to the hammer. Weather control. Yeah, the hammer is sort of like a weather machine. Uh, we do see this in the movies, not to the maybe extent we see it in the comics. Uh, beyond its ability to be that powerful weapon, Mjolnir gives Thor the power to control the weather, literally, allowing him to summon thunderstorms, wind, rain, lightning, I guess hail snow anything. This alone is truly an awe-inspiring ability, and with it, our favorite god of thunder can bring down nearly any opponent, or certainly give him or her a bad day. Who needs the hammer physically touching anyone when you have that kind of awesome firepower? And finally, folks, uh, this is a wild one. Uh, I had forgotten this myself, did a little research. The hammer is sentient. It has sentience, intelligence. Uh, again, not all the time, but in many of the storylines, in the comics, of course, Thor's hammer is portrayed as being smart, intelligent, exhibiting a real-world sentience, intelligence that can make decisions on its own, such as returning to Thor when thrown, of course, but also judging the worthiness of those who attempt to lift it. So you figure there's got to be some smarts in there, right? When someone is lifting or trying to lift, that's not supposed to be, but certainly the, the hammer's judging. And of course, we have seen again, Captain America, Beta Ray Bill, certain people, but most of all, it's only good old Thor. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.